kittens, it's cats. I'm back to make another video. I've kind of changed locations now. This is really impromptu, so I'm not trying to get things all ready or anything like that, but I just got so much that I want to show you that I thought, I don't care. I'm just going to like put it up and um, I didn't even put my, we have a really big, nice comforter and we are still waiting to get everything in our house painted we just the, the deal on that is this because a few people have asked um we had somebody to do a bunch of home improvements before things happened with this family and he was an israeli that we had known for quite a long time so we gave him a lot of time then when he could do it we couldn't do it so at this point it's been over a year well over a year we have moved on and found somebody else. Well, we had them scheduled to come out and nobody showed. So we called up there and they said, no, we had you scheduled for the 5th of next month. So with that, we are waiting until September 5th for them to come. Um, it's been, it's, my husband has an office for his work where he has his dispatcher, he's got a few salesmen there, and he has a lot of his techs put those things in there. He prefers to work from home, so there's a lot of commotion coming and going. There's constantly things always being delivered or brought, or they, what is that called when you set up all the servers? They, um, I can't think of the word for it. When they, oh, I can't think of it. They put all the stuff together before they ship it back out, whatever. I can't think of the word. Anyways, I'll, maybe I'll put it right here if I can think of it. Um, so there's always stuff going on, so it's never easy, and we've had a lot of stuff, so that's the reason why we haven't. So I have a bunch of stuff, even my new curtains for the living room that I haven't put up yet because we're having everything change kind of like that. Not a big deal, but the painting is kind of dramatic that you change it like that. So we do have a really big, nice comforter that I use in here for when guests come over to kind of show it. But otherwise, we have the dog sleeping with us and the two dogs and the cats. and this, It's a big king-size bed, but I don't want to get it in case they puke or something like dogs would do in the middle of the night. So I just put a regular white down comforter that I kind of just... Anyways, that's the reason why. But I'm trying to convince my husband that after everything is done this fall to do a home tour and I'm warming him up to it. He's kind of like, especially since the stuff that we had happen last time, a little bit iffy, but you know what? Hey, I have my address out there. I have everything out there. You know, we have a lot of security and things like that, so it's not really worried there. But anyways, okay, that was the deal on that. Now, what do I want to show you? I want to show you some things. Here's one thing that I want to show you. Prince! Prince! I have every magazine that they have coming out regarding him and the death and whatever Prince is. I didn't do a video. I literally would have cried right afterwards. He is my everything. I'm going to do a whole video on that and my life with Prince. I'm a Minnesota girl. In that time frame when all the, he was really the hit, it was my time frame to be a young preteen and everything. And he lived 20 minutes from my house, like my whole entire life. We would hang out in front of his gate when he had this purple house in Jan Asson. We have so many stories about chance almost encounters and someone knows this person and one knows this person and then I have a story that I want to do a whole story time video on Andre Simone who there's kind of a catfishing story on Andre Simone who was his best friend um, growing up and the reason why I married my ex-husband was because I was not the reason why but the reason why not why I married him but the reason why I, I was fascinated with him when we first met in the beginning was because he looked like Prince with the big Prince eyes and the eyeliner and all that kind of stuff so anyways, I still love Prince. He formed so much of who I am with that. That's the reason why I like certain things. Um, funny quick stories that every boyfriend that I've ever had dated, one of the things that they will say, I'm just going to say this because we're all women, we can keep it real, is like they want to say thank you to Prince because Prince had this really sexual vibe to him where it would be. I got especially later on that you can be very sexual but with one person with the person your mate who you're with not with a lot so to kind of embrace that side of you your sexuality and to be your sexiness with your mate the one person you're going to be with whether you're married you're not you're you know man woman straight gay whatever just anyways so i'm going to do a whole story on that just you know i i wanted to be at vanity six on my own band or group and just Anyways, lots of stories. I know the words to all of his songs, all of his random songs. 
just everything. When I was growing up, it was like you were either a Michael Jackson girl or a person or, or Prince. And of course, I was Prince. I was a Michael Jackson, although I liked the man. I was Prince. Prince. Anyways, okay, that's that. Okay, I kind of brings out of this because I'm in a really purple phase now. These are the shades that I've been rocking lately that I love. What is this by? I don't even know who this is. Um, Retro Super Future. Retro Super Future, and I love these because of the lenses. Is that not cool? <laughs> kind of the purpley vibe. So. My nephew's girlfriend loves these too, and she always takes these. And I was saying in the snap is I thank God because she got a tiny little head so she doesn't stretch it out because my head is much bigger. But I found these on Hold Look for much less than these, and she really liked these. So I got her both of these, told her to pick out one. I may keep the other one or I may give the other one away because they're just, they're a lot less expensive. They were like 85% off. These weren't like cheap, cheap, cheapy, but they weren't expensive. I want to say they were like, I mean, I want to say they were like 40 something or whatever. They were like 85% off because they're really heavy, nice made glasses. So this is the one and these are kind of a clear frame like this. So she hasn't picked yet which one she's going to pick. So either those, the brand name is AQS. So I, I've never heard of those, but they have a nice kind of a leather case with the little cleansing or the washing cloth or the polishing to get the fingerprints off and then here's the other one I think she'll probably like these although she is kind of anyways and there's the other one so they're kind of a little bit like mine the the, the, the color of these really comes out more when you are in person but there's the other ones so there's the other ones so anyways got those off of Holt look I always try to look on Holt look and see what they have I'm, I'm trying to I'm not doing a no buy but I'm really simplifying things I am selling things I'm giving things away I'm really getting things organized especially for this big remodel type thing um, that we're doing. A lot of things that we want to do and, you know, life, life. It's good, your ups, your downs, you know, whatever. So that one I want to show that, give me a little sip. This is a mug that I had, I, I had found in the back of my cupboard. I don't remember, um, I didn't remember having it. It says, I love cruising. And I have a really good friend, Rebecca, my Facebook friend in Boston, not my niece, Rebecca, but a different Rebecca who got me that when her and her mother went on a cruise. And she said she, she saw the pink sparkly thing and she thought of me, so I like that. I wanna show you this. I wanted one of these for quite some time and um, I got one. I got it off of um, Nordstrom, which I thought was a really good deal and it is, but I saw I could have got it on Amazon for like $3 less. I think these are $50 on Amazon, but it is an instant camera. And this is the Fujifilm Instax Mini 8. And you guys have seen these probably. I know you have been out for a while. But this is just a cute, chunky, fat, pink camera. How cute. Thumbnail. <laughs> Anyways, cute, cute, cute camera. I don't have film for it yet. I literally just got this. But um, they have this in a really pretty, kind of a robin's egg blue, um, really pretty yellow. The yellow is like a buttery, but then I had to go with the pink because I'm such a pink girl. Although the other ones, I love pastel and the other ones are pretty too. What I like these for, I loved my, when I was 12 years old, I had received for uh, a gift a Polaroid camera and it was so fun. And I remember having it and remember my my 13th birthday party especially, we had all the friends and I still have the pictures we were taking from there. And it just, it's a nice thing. I, I guess I'm feeling kind of nostalgic lately and I, I like this for this. Um, just to kind of have it when you're out and take a picture like that and I have these little things to kind of, I, 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 may, I may use this for a little while, get the pictures that I want from it and I may give it away to somebody too and have them kind of pass it on and have them they can take some pictures of just their friends and family to hang up and then they can pass it on and buy maybe it'll be a gift kind of like that but i think there's something to just the the sporadic picture that you're not posing for you're not using a filter for it's just real it's may not be the best picture but it's it's not posed and filtered and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, and it's cute, but I think I will share the love with this one on too. I think I'll use it to get the pictures of maybe a, a birthday party or something and use it for a few months and then pass it on. I think I will. So I think I'll keep the box and I think I will do that and have them to promise to pass it on after a few months after they use it. And it can be the gift that 
reminds you to live in the moment and not every picture has to be perfect and filtered and whatever. So deep. I'm deep these days, ladies and gentlemen. I can't help it. Okay, then the last. Oh, this is two things. Got this from Tarjay. Is this not pretty? It's my I, my, my colors. You say, look at the colors going off when I do that. It is that pink and it is that gold. And it's a little box. I suppose you can put anything you want in it. I'm going to use it to go through a bunch of cards and letters of from people that I've met here on my channel because this color just reminds me of glamorous and it reminds me of just all of you guys that you're just you've meant it so much to me and you've lifted me up at times when I can be low and the messages from people who don't have to send or say anything to me so I think I'm gonna do that and this is sugar paper Los Angeles Target uh, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I believe it was maybe $7, but it was the only one there I would have gotten to because I like it so much, but there's that. Then, now the last thing. You know how I'm into the planner thing. Oh my goodness. I have my Erin Condren planner. Then I saw that they had this planner that said Be Happy on it, which is a happy planner, and Be Happy is just my motto now for life. Be happy, be happy. There's a video on that too. A video. Lots of videos. Some videos of a plan. I'm doing that my planner too. I've got a whole section that says YouTube videos, whatever. So, you know me, spending too much on something, gotta go out, gotta splurge. Got a Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. I got the little card thing put on there and it's blank, so I figured I could use it for somebody. A little Louis Vuitton card. Anyways, here's how it's packaged. Here's the box that it comes in. You know, y'all, it just, Louis Vuitton are the ultimate. It'll never go out of style. The, the, the monogram, the damier, they will never go out of style. You will have this forever. They will wear forever. The canvas, they will never. They are just the workhorse. I was left off on showing you this and telling you what it was I was getting or something like that. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. I have to keep on deleting memory off this or keep on deleting things. I don't know why. I have the most memory. I mean, the most memory that you can actually get on a iPhone. I, I want to maybe probably add some or I don't usually take a lot of videos on my iPhone, but I have lately because it's just, um, or just now since I'm not doing things that I have to be so detailed or something. So anyways, I am going to start vlogging. This is probably random in the middle of what I was talking about last time. And I appreciate the people who said that they didn't like my snap vlogs. I know some people like the snap vlogs and just kind of seeing it, but they are not good quality and they are kind of jittery because it is kind of just 10 second little clips. I will continue to post them just because I like to have the kind of the memory published online for me. And I have a lot of family who watch that too and they kind of want to see it like that, but I will always put Maybe I'll put snap vlogs and say, because the glam vlogs, I want to start calling my good quality ones that I have a camera that I'm going to use just for that and kind of follow me around. Those will be much better quality, but I really want to start vlogging my everyday life. I know I've said that, but really Snapchat's really gotten me into like, hey, people would want to see this. It's not so, you know, I don't know. I don't think my life is boring. I know a lot of people say that. I don't think my life is boring. I did go through... I do try to find some fun things to do. I do, I just, I'm regular. It's not anything totally exciting, but it's what I would want to watch too. I like to watch, you know, I've seen some videos like Lori 49 L Davis did a video of like what's in my refrigerator. And I'm just a regular girl. <laughs> we like to see what's in your refrigerator, things like that, or people, not just girls. So anyways, okay, let's back to this. I'm into the planning thing now, guys. So I, got this <laughs> this is the i have the philo facts too in the same size and i love my philo facts which i've used since back in the day since my senior year of high school i used that i used it all through college all throughout my work career everything i've always used my philo facts i still have the original one that i used and i do have a neon cool hot pink one now but this is the a5 size which is the size of the philo facts the one kind of personal is it the personal but it's the a5 so you can get a lot of you know filler things for the middle of it so anyways here's the box that comes in with this from Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton oui, oui. so you open it up and there you go there is what you get on the inside of the nice box take it out it's got the 
accoutrements. So it's got the receipt. It's got the, what else does it have? I guess it's like the little booklet on it. Somebody had asked. One person had asked because everybody else knows. And I guess it just, I don't know why this gets underneath my skin. This one commented. And I don't even know. She doesn't like me. I know that, whatever. But she had asked why people show receipts. If you're in the community of handbags and showing things like that, you show receipts because people want to see what it is. It's not to brag. It's not to brag. I won't show this now just because I'm not with a good camera, but that's the reason why. And I guess she was just kind of ignorant to it. Um, she hates me anyways for whatever reason. I don't even know who she is, but there you go. So I wanted to say that. I won't show that night now, but I will put the information for it below in case people want to go out there. This is a lifetime gift. This is a great gift for somebody that you know who's going off to college, who is just that going and starting their new career. Um, a new mother, um, a new a new father, anything like that. If something where they want, they will keep this forever. They will keep, will always buy refills for this. Maybe I should show this. Anyways, this is the little care booklet. This is the receipt for that. I always keep those. This is the big bag that you get for it, with it. And I've already put paper in here, guys. I've already, I didn't start doing anything yet, but I've already put paper in it. So here it is. And I went with the Damier prints. I was going back and forth. I didn't know, but I really, I really prefer this print. I don't know why. I, I just do. I went back and forth. I still am because they're both gorgeous, but I, I went with this one. So there it is right there, guys. It's a really nice size. It can be filled up really good. And I did get the hot stamp. And my middle name is Renee. It's Kathleen Renee. Uh, I did cat, though. I did cat. K-A-T, I don't know if I'll see if I can get close enough and maybe it's the zoom in if you can see that. K-A-T, and I did it in the gold. You can pick out which color hot stamp and you want. I did it in the gold because it looks really pretty popping off of this chocolate brown. That's another reason too. I like the gold popping off the chocolate brown. In the original monogram, it is more of that, um, uh, the brown color that they always see in the monogram on kind of the insides of things. And I did, I like this dark chocolate with that gold pop. So that's, and I did cat. I was gonna do K, R, K. I sometimes do K, K, because I just kind of like those. I like the initials. Can't help it. I like the initials. I went back and forth and it's just kind of neat that I can put my name. It's cool that I can put cat and put my name. So I did that. And plus the gold of the hardware here and the gold of the hardware there. So. I don't like the Filofax paper, but um, because it's very thin and a lot of things breed, um, breed, a lot of things bleed through it. But I had extra of the colored paper, so I am looking. If anybody knows, I had a place that I would go on Amazon, and they no longer sell paper. If anybody knows the thicker quality paper that will fit into the A5, the six ring binder, let me know of a thicker quality, nicer paper. The Filofax paper of the refills, I like it because it's got the different pretty colors and I want, it's nice to have, I think I saw HRH collection, Alex. I'll link her below, I get her jewelry. I love Alex, she's amazing. She had said in another video that she has, that she has, I think she's got the regular monogram. She likes the inside of it to be really bright and colorful because this is so kind of like just plain, you know, basic. I do too. I like that. I like it to have it all crazy. I'll do some kawaii stuff. I'll do crazy wild colors and have it be classic. Yes, whatever. And then the inside's like, bam, wild colors. So I'll do that. I'll do decorating with this. I know I do get a lot of the glam planner. I get the monthly one and she's got a lot of the kits out now that are for the personal, the A5 size. Um, I have a lot of planner stuff though too. If anybody wants to see that video, let me know. I can do, uh, that'll be like a five part series of all my planner stuff. Oh, I went a little crazy. Etsy, but great. I love that stuff. Um, it helps me keep on track. It's helping me make these videos now because I had it all put. It's helping me to get back into it. I've always done a planner and I've continually done it, but to be able to decorate it. And right now what I'm using every day and heavily decorated is my Erin Condren, and I have that, and that's really nice, but I wanted another one because I like to decorate and plan, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna use one for more kind of um, professional things, you know, YouTubing things, or anything that I have going on with any projects that I have. I do have other projects that I do outside. Um, and then one for more personal things as far as kind of maybe one for 
appointments that you have or things you have to go to or things to remember or things to remember to send or people to call or anything in the other one for more professional things like that. I'm not sure. But anyways, I got that. I'm extremely happy. It's a really good investment piece. It, it truly, truly, truly is because they will last forever I'm just putting it back in here just because forever it'll never go out of style and especially if you are embarking into a career or going back or anything like that it just looks uber classy to have that it truly does for your agenda um, they don't call it a planner they call it an agenda yes let me check my agenda and people like those they you can still do it you can do it with your phone anything like that but people still I do I know I do I like writing things down I still have uh, an address book that I like to have my addresses in there. I like that. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you like planning and if you would like to see any planner videos. I know a lot of people, you're either into those or you're not. Let me know if you are into those. And thank you for watching and remember to keep living your most glamorous life. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.